I'm so frustrated, I'm not actually thinking straight. Alright, alright, alright. Try and get back a little bit of my money, maybe. Alright, I have three sixes. If I don't win this one, I I don't even I don't even know anymore. That's it. That's all I want. No, 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 I'm not done with you. I'm not done with you. What do I got? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, hello. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I don't want to reroll any of them. He's going to resign. No. Okay. No, sir. <laughs> okay, I'm done with that. I'm done. I got back some of my money, and I'm just gonna... Hey, hey. Hey. No. Better to ask the way. Let's see what you trade. Um... Book of the Elements of Earth. Diamond dust, elemental stone, essence of water, hardened leather, diagrams, book on drowners. Uh, oh, hello. Ugh. I'm gonna spend all my money, aren't I? I'm gonna spend all my money. <sighs> Alright, you know what? Let's not spend all my money right now. Let's get some monster contracts and see what books we need. Then we'll come back. He said they do better building a highway to the town. And are they building? Oh, I know what this is. Still waiting for a permit from the capital. Oh, dandelion. Mm -hmm. What are you doing here? I see you finally decided to relax. Have I ever told you I think you lead a very unhealthy life? You've mentioned it. Evidently not enough for you to take it to heart. Anyway, the whores are quite decent here. Maybe some other time. You worry me. Mm. <laughs> I wonder what Sheila's doing in Henselt's camp. You're not alone, because she's wondering what you're doing at the King's side. How do you know? She asked me about you. What did she want to know? I have no idea. I realized right off she was sniffing, and told her she could smell my fingers if she wanted. That'd be all she'd get. And she gave up. Mm-hmm. See how careful I am? Have you tried to, uh... Approach this? I've thought about it. On the one hand, I've never rogered a soldier, but on the other, the clean clang of steel against steel at an intimate moment could put off even the most attentive lover. Why do you ask? I just like to know. Do I? I, I, don't know. I was just asking because it's an option. All right. Heard anything about Letho? They say he's hiding in the ravines. He's not alone. I know. I fail to comprehend exactly why you have it in for him. He escaped. So what? You're no king, and as such, are hardly in danger. I'm tired of having to explain that I'm not the Kingslayer. Hensel believed you. But he's still not sure, and I don't want him doing me any favors. Let's say you catch him. What then? Hmm. I'll decide once I've heard him out, learn the truth. Maybe I'll see his point, or maybe I'll just cut off his head. Yeah, I like that one. Henselt's camp is abuzz with rumors about the events three years ago. When you burn a sorceress at the stake, rumors spread faster than the seed of a lascivious bear. I know you primarily value sorceresses for their firm busts, but I'm curious. What do you think of Sabrina Glevisig? Sorceresses complain about feeling underappreciated, persecuted even. But let me tell you, Geralt, you live by the sword, you die by the sword. If they, they didn't meddle, they wouldn't be burned at the stake. 
They keep whining about the horrors that took place on Thanet Island, about the order of the world being destroyed. But let me ask you, who brought that about if not them and their scheming? That's probably a good point. My memories and feelings seem inextricably linked. I seem to be recovering both. I believe Yennefer's alive, and I'll eventually find her. Triss? Yennefer? That's some life you lead, my friend. First off, we have no idea if Yennefer's still alive. Second, we have no idea if Triss is alive. Hmm, true. You seem to have two women, when in fact, you don't even have one. Their kind doesn't die easily. I'll find Triss as soon as I've dealt with the assassin. What about Yennefer? I won't know what to do about her until I see her. Interesting. I'm from Stilton, and the Lama lands in Tameria. Runaway, eh? It's that albino oh, timber. again. Timber, timber, gotta get my timber. Timber, timber. So what I might do is, I eventually want to try and buy all the books, but what? money, money is a problem. So I'm going to get those monster contracts, see which books I could use, and then, uh, oh, those are monsters. Should I go kill them? No, I'm a witcher. I get paid to kill things. <laughs> Not another fucking stone. What's that? Hey. Hey, how's it going? I'm Galt. I'm Galt. I'm Rivia. <laughs> I'm Galt of Rivia. I don't even know what I'm doing. Leave me alone. Alright, who are you? Oh, you're the corporal what's-his-face. Alright, uh, so lots to do here. What do we got here? Rot Fiend contract. It, it's hereby announced that the good King Hensel, Lord of Cadewin, offers a bounty for the extermination of Rot Fiends in the vicinity of the camp. The monsters must be eliminated once and for all by any method. The brave soul that rids us of Rot Fiends will be warded by Proximo and his feet duly recorded in the Chronicles of Cadewin. I'll take it. By the will of our gracious King Hinsult, I hereby announce the opening of signups for a grand swordsmanship tourney in the place uh, to take place in the camp are arena. As expert swordsmen, as soldiers' virtue, anyone familiar with the craft of war is encouraged to apply, whether kinsman or foreigner, man or woman. If you fear not the sight of your own blood on sand, I await you in the arena. Alright. I don't need to take that, but I'll take them up on the offer. Reward for information on the holders of square coins. To all officers and enlisted men on behalf of His Royal Majesty King Hinsult, I hereby announce that a reward is offered for any information regarding the identity and whereabouts of holders of those so-called square coins. These men are traitors to our homeland. Whoever is found to be abetting, uh, aiding, or abetting, or colluding with them shall be deemed an enemy of Cadewin. Discretion guaranteed. All right. Don't hide your head neath a hood. Long hair, short wit. Gary is no sign of wisdom. Gray is no sign of wisdom. Just of an old git. Wise men's heads are just as rare as they are bare. Oh. So that's it? Just a thing for, for rot fiends? Ooh. Maybe if I take this. I'll go ahead and take those too. See if that gives me any quests. Okay, hang on. What? The Rock Fiend already has a new, um... Oh, wow. So many new things in my, uh... Uh, in my... I never read any of these. I probably should have. Alright, so, let's see here. Geralt was looking for a worthy arm wrestling opponent. Oh, right, okay. Um, he's lifting a curse. Rotfiend contract. Uh, Hinsult's army was pestered by rotfiends. The creatures were dangerous in their own right, but also carried diseases which 
which spread among the army like gossip through a dormitory or high society girls. The Witcher took up the task of slaying the monsters and went about it like a true professional. He killed individual specimens and also read books about rot fiends. Did he? Okay. He quickly discovered that rot fiends are necrophages. Their diet is made up of corpses or even just bones from which they suck marrow. Burning all the carcasses was the only way to rid the area of the monsters. Oh, I think I read that in a book earlier. Alright, um... Okay, the blood curse, the eternal battle, okay. So I think, yeah, I think I read that, um, locations, characters, monsters. Interesting. Indriga. Rot fiends. What rot fiends are, anyone, everyone can see. Even seeing them is not necessary, as hearing the name should be enough to tell anyone what creatures might bear this unpleasant title. The creature multiplied after the last year's northern war today plagued the wilderness and forest settlements. Interesting. Okay. So I gotta burn all the bodies. Easy enough. So, where are the bodies in camp? Hey. Okay. Dice. Hi. Dice. Who else plays around here? They're Zivik, Madame Carol, and Lesotho. But they're masters. They'll only play you if you beat us. Then let's play. Let's do this. I'll be glad to play you. I'll go first. Good. Good. You do that. You know what? I'm not going to bet a lot of money on this. I think I'll, I will, um... All right, fine. I'll feel better if I lose less money <laughs> than if I make more money. I have nothing. And he has a pair of ones. He has two pair. All right, what should I do? I should just keep the six and roll everything else, I guess. What did I get? I got a pair of sixes. I got three of a kind. Yeah, I won! Woohoo! Yay! Give me another shot. No. Shit. Get out of here. Shall we roll them? Yes, we shall. Alright, fine. What did I get? I got nothing. Got one, two, three, four. Oh, one, two, three, three, five. <laughs> and he has three of... Oh, crap. Alright, fine. I'll roll everything but the threes. And hope I get four of a kind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nope. I lost. I'll play him again. You lost. You don't say. Shall we roll? Right, he's just gonna raise me to ten in any way, isn't he? All right. What did I get? Uh, three of a kind. Ooh, full house already. Full house. Oh, he's got a full house too, but mine's bigger. Nyah, nyah, nyah. Go ahead and just fold. Just fold. Okay, fine. Whatever. Nope. Didn't think so. Let me win it back? No. <laughs> Just no. Not in your life. Alright, defeat Zurich at poker, whoever that Damn is. It. This is a brothel, not a military camp. Devilish blood Mind if I join you? Think I've the right to stop you from taking a free stool? No, right. But you might not want company while you drink. And why might you want to drink with me? Uh, sure. I prefer to drink in good company. Doesn't drink true. You don't even know me. That's true. But I know a good man when I see him. So? Do what you will. Everyone does what they want. My son, for instance, has decided to die. 
He's decided to duel Lieutenant Avid, known as the Butcher of Sidorus. All in all, that makes him a dead man. I see. Lieutenant Avid, who's that? A killer. Plenty of those in the army. No, killing enemies is not the same as slaughtering your own countrymen. The Butcher likes the latter, and he's good at it. The best. They're going to duel to the death? Are you that ignorant? We've been sitting here for weeks. Nothing is happening, and Hensel don't like that, so he's organized some diversions. You mean tournaments? Not like tournaments, more like murders. Mock battles without the mocking. The jewelers really leave the arena on their own two feet. When our unit learned that Six Company was putting forward the Butcher of Sidorus, there were no volunteers, so we drew straws and it fell to Sven. He can't back out. He can, but he won't. I've pleaded, I've begged, but my son's a stubborn one. The pup's got honor. But what good's honor to a corpse? Hmm. Hmm. I admire his bravery. Maybe there's a way to help him out. What if I helped you? What kind of question is that? Could I count on you in return? Save my son, and there wouldn't be a thing I wouldn't do to aid you. I take that as your vow. Where's Sven? Training in front of the canteen, near the mercenary's tent. You'll know him when you see him. Go to the slaughter okay. and pick for a feast, and there's naught I can do. Okay, let's take a look at Sven. See if we can't help him out a bit. Maybe teach him how to parry or thrust or, you know, Are you bleed Sven? well. Who's asking? Somebody who just might save your ass. Pass off! <laughs> I wouldn't play the hero if I were you. You don't know me. I spoke to your father. Ha! <laughs> I'll wager he told you the sad story of Sven, who needs to be rescued. I'm no wandering knight, and you're no princess in distress. I promised your father I'd help you. Then go back and ask his pardon for tricking him. Will you feel better when they kill you? I'll certainly feel worse if I cower out. I'm the last one who'd ask you to do that. What will you do? Summon the Butcher and send him out on an urgent mission to deflower the Virgin of Edirne? No, we'll fight as a pair against Latond and his second. Your honor will remain untouched, like a 12-year-old nun's petal. Why do you wish to help me? I'm not a fan of uneven fights. How much did he pay you? Your father could never afford my fee. <laughs> That's so true. This is true. Ah, On spoken to so the butcher many. yet? All right, I will speak to the butcher. Where be Hello? the butcher? Hi. I'm a bit scared of going oh, against the saint. The enemy have you? fed you their proper. I'm looking for Letan Davit. The Butcher of Sidorus. What do you seek? I want to try my luck. Strange. Most shit themselves at the sight of my sword. They say you're equal to a Witcher in a fight. They lie. I'm better. We'll see. You'll need to wait. I've a fight lined up already. We could always duel in pairs. I look around and I see the cream of Kedweni Knights. Someone's bound to agree. I am Edwin Lysum, known also as the Petal. If Latond will have me, I'll gladly stand at his side. Why do they call you the Petal? I've no need for one who plows maidens simply for the pleasure of deflaring them. You offend me greatly, Latond. I owe the moniker to the fact that I place flower petals in the mouths of the foes I defeat. I'll be glad to see anything stuffed in the Witcher's mouth. So be it. Ah! But what if she's truly an anointed Okay. Fairy? Ah, don't Horse worry about it. The Witcher will take care you? of everything. Alright then. Shall we? Uh, do I want to level up a bit before I take him on? Hmm. Yeah, let's go burn bodies first, huh? Hello. What do you want? Uh, do we want to They say blacksmiths are strong, 
I say they're fat pussies. Oh crap! I say I can show you just how strong we are. That was rather Careful rude. You don't snap something. Show me your Carol. coin if you want to wrestle. Gerald. Rude. Let's do this. Let's lose, because that's what's gonna happen. <laughs> that was tough. My hands, damn you! Might want to put a cold compress on that. That was mean. You're mean, Carol. Yes, take it. So I got some stuff to sell. Uh, did I play him at dice already? I'd like to play dice. I'll play if you beat Zivik and Madam Carol. Okay, okay. So? Uh, let's trade then. I have some stuff to sell. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hello. Wait, don't sell that, baby. Yeah, you can sell those, though. Um, hang on. I am quite certain that's better than my sword. 14 to 21 versus 25 to 31? Gee. Oh man. Um Yeah, I'll take I'll take I'll take that over vitality and everything. I that's just that's ten more minimum damage. Yes, please, and thank you. Hey. So you can buy my other sword. I'm selling you a sword today. It just wasn't the one I thought it was gonna be. Thank you. All right. Um. 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 um bodies. Where are the bodies? Yay. Still looking for coins. What else am I to do? Oh, I'm looking for bodies. What you want? I don't know. Uh. They feed you well here. Depends. One day be heaps of meat, the next straight grits without one bark dripping. Still, we fill our stomachs with what the foe has in his stores. Okay. Uh, I can't talk to him again? Okay then. Aldrin! Piss off out of here. You're talking to an elder. So show a little respect, you prick licker. Respect for you? This is no place for crappers like you. Out, I said. Aye, true. Join the pegs in the pen. That's your place. <laughs> oh. Okay, then. Are you alright? You best leave. Old Maverick ain't a good companion. Unless you're looking for someone to mock. What I saw back there, that happen often? What's the problem? I have bigger problems to deal with than the camp tramps. My nightmares have invaded my waking life. The specters haunt and hunt me by day. Come on. Nightmares are common. Start at the beginning. One night, I walked to the riverside and sat there. Staring at the stars, I must have fallen asleep. I dreamt of my birdie, her milk-white bosom, her gentle voice. I saw and heard her as if she sat beside me, and then that voice became a terrifying whisper. Curdled the blood in my veins. I opened my eyes, but the specter remained. It went on talking, hovering over me stretching its mitts out towards me. I felt a deathly chill, and then it happened. What? Never been a coward. At the fore and fierce in many battles. But a human's one thing, 
A specter's another. No other way to put this. I shit myself. Out of fear. Pants right full by the time I got back to camp. Since then, they mock me. Call me the Crapper. Hmm. I didn't see anyone mocking you. Well, except for those two drunks. Then you haven't looked around well enough. I'm the laughing stock of the entire camp. Hmm. I gotta call him a piss poor soldier. Why did you go to the beach? During Hensel's last expedition, we stayed in a house there. My unit was on the lookout for Demavan's forces trying to cross the river. I just wanted to recall the old times. So you took part in the campaign three years ago? Took part? I barely escaped with my life. Leva, the brothel medic, saved me. Talk to her if you want to learn more. She knows everything about the camp. Interesting. What time did the Spectre appear? I went to the beach after my watch, so it must have been an hour before midnight. I've no idea how long I slept, but when I reached the camp, it was dawning in the east. I'll deal with the Spectre, but you should know a witch's services don't come cheap. My soldier's pay is meager. Got but a few coins in my pouch and some pipeweed. Would you do it for that? Uh, yeah, I guess. All right. All right, gotta talk to Leva as well. Hi. I know you. Hi. We met in Vizima. I was working for Salamandra and barely escaped your wrath. Grown Did wiser you? since. Listen, I've a trinket. My last reminder of those days. Take it and hold no grudge against me. Hmm. Sure. I hold no grudge, and I'll gladly accept the trinket. Take it. And good luck. What did I get? What'd you give me? What'd you give me? Out! What? Excuse me, sir. What? Did, was that it? Repust, well balanced silver dagger? Okay. I need uh, bodies. Where are the dead bodies? Everything fine. Gr greetings. That's the arena. Alright, hang on. Where? Poker faced. Alright, um. His first was Zivik. I gotta find Zivik. Uh. Okay, yeah. Trust the rooms, battle casualty, sure should provide a wealth of information. Okay, so I want to do this first. I want to burn all the carcasses, but I don't see a, like a, you know, a way to go. Hmm. Where would I find said carcasses? Who do I spy if not the famed Geralt of Rivia? You seem it's to not me, but I it have is. no idea who you are. And you're worse off for that, for I can make you even more famous. Oh, can you? you? write ballads or something? I've no notion of songs, but the king's vested me with the task of organizing nightly tourneys. A swordmaster like you must be eager to show off his skills. Uh... I'm interested in the Rotfiend contract. Know anything about it? The scum has so far destroyed two convoys of army provisions. Before we arrived, they'd only attacked the local cattle. Since the mist appeared, they've grown bolder and started hunting our patrols. The lads from the company have collected a kitty. Sort it all out and the coin is yours. Oh, all right, hey, Tournaments. Hey, hey, hey. Now that's a pastime for real men. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nightly tournaments are a pastime for real men. Does King Hensel have any interests besides fighting? We value nightly tradition in Kedwin. Only jewels in the arena let a knight stay in good form and hone his skills. 
Yeah, all right. Still, I need to find corpses. Let's go all the way down here. Square coins. Salutations. Hi. Where are the corpses? Are these corpses? Can I? Can I burn them? Can I burn them? Can I burn the corpses? Not over here. What's this way? Okay, sure. Why not? Well, hello. What have we here? Okay, then. We have nothing here, apparently. Well, fine. Burn all the corpses around the camp. Yeah, I know, but I don't see any. Are there any dead people in here? I am looking for dead people. Dead people? Here, dead people! What you do? Say something. Or did you just fart? Both. Kind of one led to the other. Bandit. Um. Hmm. All right. Let's try over here. Oh, hey, wait, wait, wait. Hey, hey. What do you want, Witcher? You're the guy I'm supposed to play dice. Uh. Well, let's do From this. From what first. I can see, you and the men love your king. <laughs> He's like a father to us, really. Comes around from time to time, chats it up, pats you on the mug. Remembers our names, too. Though you gots to earn that in battle. It's so distinguished three times already. Pride myself on it. I'm sure it's a great honor for a humble soldier like yourself. Last time it happened, we was on the march. Some peasant poisoned his well. A few of our lads died. Many others got sick. I pass... Pass... Half aside that village. We hit them so hard we even struck fear into our own boys. They went without a row for two days, and the king was very pleased. He came around, gave me a friendly punch in the gut, laughed, and said, You are one true son of a bitch. If you'd not been born among swine, you'd probably be king. That's how he nice. is. Humane and all. He's really got a heart. Yeah, don't he? 